hello and welcome in this video we will start our e-commerce uh, website and we will design the real e-commerce product page here is the product page and you know you understand the basic of crat i will delete all of these uh, tests here and i'm going to create uh, another branch for the, this one so if you check out the code on github make sure you switch the branch to the real one or as well as the test one in VS Code it is very easy like you can come to the VS Code here is the master we have here click on the master and then you can create a branch called CRUD testing so you can create your branch and it is going to you are going to select the master or any other I'm going to select the master and it's going to be copy of the master now I will switch to the master and I will bring all the changes in the master because if you are watching the video and previous video and you want to understand this stuff just make sure you switch to the other branch so now I am going to continue coding on the main branch so I will delete some of this stuff from here for example the edit or the model window should be here we do need the table for now here but of course you are going to display the product here so that's why we need that what else we do need is the product field here so I will come all the way up and I will remove this product from here and product test start here I don't know where it ends yeah it's fine if I save it for now and come and check out our code so yeah this is all we have as well as the title we have here also what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, here at the top we have the product list beside this one I want to have a button to add the product you can have a separate page for adding the product what I'm going to do is I'm going to use model window to add the product easily in the same page so here is the product list you have here if you come the product list and what you can do is you can add a button here button that btn hyphen primary and you can just add product here if you save it for now let's see where it is going to appear so here it appears there so it should be in the product list actually not at the top so I will cut it there and I will display it here if you give it a class of right so it should display in the right side of our page I think this is flat right so you save it for now and it will appear here for now it is just fine the reason it does not appear in the same line is because this is going to be in line so you can come here this is the basic bootstrap design you can say display in line or d in line and it's going to display it in line now it is just fine maybe in line block so you save it for now and it works just fine now whenever you click on the add product it should pop up the model window and on the model window we are going to create our product and as we are going to do this one we are going to use a tool called view file store I have already introduced this one but the reason I use this one is because you don't have to worry about real-time database you don't have to listen for any changes in the server this package is going to do that for you so the, this is called view file store if you are completely beginner or you do not understand what I am going to use and how I do it just give a reading to this article in alligator.io this is a very nice article you can go through this one and they have done a great job here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this one first so how you install this one just copy this comment using npm I will open the console page here up so I will press enter and it will take a few seconds to install so while it is installing I'm going to design our model window so we say if someone we have a button here so we should bind a click event for this one and the click event is going to say add new so this is going to call a function called add new so I have to define that function all the way down there here is our method so I hope we don't have an add new method here this method is going to first of all show the model window we have a model window here for the edit product so I'm not going to see this is going to edit product it is fine for now the title but later I am going to put this uh, text here conditionally for now we are going to use the same model window for both of them 
it is not going to name edit so it is going to be product the model window is called product so whenever I want to display that one I will come here and we will use the model to show the model window we have here so if someone click on this it is going to take the product and it is going to display that so if I save it for now coming here click on the product it is going to display the model window here so I'm going to add some extra field and designing behind the scene to, to make the video a little shorter so here is the basic design I have done behind the scene a little bigger model window you have product name as well as the description price tag and image of course there are some other options we will do later for now we of course for the tags it should be more than one tag and it should display here we have multiple images and we will have add a WYSIWYG editor for our product description here so we will do that in the next video but for now let's see we are we have done all of these things and let's see how you can use the view file store and add data to the database you have first of all I go to the file store here you go to the console and I'm going to have our of course our product uh, table we already have I'm going to clean that up and we are going to add more information with the new product list here first of all I will come here and let's see how you can add the product you already have your button so let's come down there this is going to be for the update so what I'm going to do is for now I'm going to say this should be for the add product we have a function called save data and I will change it to add product so I will copy the same thing and for now we will use add product function here so it should add the product so anyone click on this one it should add product for us so we are going to use the view file store here and let me just refresh it I don't know what happened to the Firebase console and the way you do this one the configuration is really easy all you have to do is we have already put the key and API and all you need to do is just import your view file store and tell view to use the view file store you are going to import this one now and where you are going to write is you are going to write that in the main.js so here we import that firstly and you are going to tell view to use it so this is like any other configuration you will put it here and now you are set to go like we have install this one if you check out the compilation it should succeed yeah successfully done and now you can use the functionality of view file store to add data to your database the way it works is now in your component you can add a function called file store and inside that one you can store any object you want here is how you do that one let's see you have your view component and you can add the file store function here inside that one you can return an object or multiple objects so here is how you do you come here in the product anywhere you can write it here is your methods so above the method I'm going to write the file store function here and the file store function is also going to return an object so it should return an object and inside the object you will have different like you have product you have person anything you want so how you do that one if you check out the documentation they are going to per say persons so person is going to refer to a collection in the database they have of course we are not going to say person it is product in our case and how you refer to that one we don't use firebase we use fb which we have already imported here so this is basically it like now you have a real-time database setup how you add data to that one so here is how you do that one uh, if I come all the way down there you have add product you use the same style but this time I will remove it this is how we add the product so what you can do is you can come to the documentation here and if you scroll down a little bit they will show you how you can add data so here is the example you can use this dollar sign file store dot person dot add so I will copy the same code and I will modify it for ourselves so you paste the code and you don't have person these refer 
to the object you are writing in your Firestore function here. So I will scroll down. So here is going to be this dot Firestore, which refer to the global Firestore we have here. We import the Firestore. So and you say this dot Firestore, and it is going to go to the product, and it is going to add this information. This is going to be the object they are going to send. For our in this case, we say this dot product. which refer to our array of the object we have here I mean anytime you fill this form and you click on the save data it is going to send all of those information to our function so if I come again all the way down for the add product it should add the product to the database and it is going to return a promise so again if I check out the documentation this is how it is going to be done and there are some other options too I'm going to do show you later for that let's see if it is going to work so I will save it let's see it compiled successfully and if it can really add product to our database so I will come to database going to view shop project here going to database and this time we have more fields if I come all the way down all the way up you have name description price tag all of this stuff and in our database structure you don't have all of those that is the flexibility of firebase like you can add as many fields as you want it is not going to limit you so it should work just fine if I come there refresh our page and we just add the product and let's see this is for testing product description and the price is going to be ten dollar and we are going to add some test test two for example this is just for now of course you will uh, store that separately in the future and we are not going to pick the any image so it should be an empty if you click on the save and this view the console if it is successfully done or not we got an error so let's see what is the error I will bring down all, all the way up there so here they say product is undefined sometimes it happen in caching so if I come here you have products everything is fine and if I come all the way down there I think we have a watcher for adding no it is not that one so if you check out your data you have not any new data so this is the error you got so just so if I go to the code here all the way down I'm going to clean up a little bit of the code we have written here so that we should not get any extra error first of all I will clean up the table for now we don't need those information because you don't have product or data anymore it is going to be completely different as well as I am going to empty all the functions we have written here for example we don't need the washer since we are using the view fire store it is going to do that automatically um, I'm going to clean up the update because we are going to a different way to update our information as well as the delete and here is the read data and this one also add product this should be here as well as reset we don't need the reset for now and in the create it we don't have any function like that so if I save it for now still if I come here refresh the page it is not going to work and if I come here here is a little typo we have made First of all, this is Fire Restore with an E, and this is not going to use the Firebase. This is going to use the DB, which refers to our database. We have already imported here. So if I save it for now, let's come and see if we fix the error or not. So if you click on the Add Product, first of all, so let's have a test here for now. Test and fill it as a test for now to see the error we, we get now. You click on the save changes and this time you do not get any error so if i come to the database here check out the last option or the first option i think we have it here so these are not ordered in the correct position here is the test uh, with all the t details we have here as you can see description image is null because we did not specify that name price and everything it means this works just fine this is this much easy now we use the view file store and it is 
it is much easier like you just say product it is going to be product the way you add the data you see this that file store which refers to the file store function you have here and you pick the product and you add product to that document you have in, or the collection you have in your database this is much simple now this is going to be a real-time database how by real time what i mean i'm going to explain that in the next video so the video gets longer i mean if you add that it will automatically should refresh the table and display it here so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video or check out the code and uh, source code in github thank you for watching